the area, you see my laser right now? Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a reconstruction here. But all of this is original. But you see the stone, the mud brick, how it forms an arch right in this area here? So this is the left side, this is the top of it, and then here. There's actually three courses of uh, mud brick, part of the arch. Do you see that? If you look carefully, you can actually still see some of the uh, plaster that's still preserved. If you don't keep something like this plaster, it'll disintegrate very rapidly. On the right side, obviously, this is all reconstructed or solidified, but look up on the top here. Do you notice that this is all original up here? This is all this is a little bit reconstructed, but this is all original here. And then you've got a lot of original stuff over here as well. Original up here in the upper left part of it. Uh, I mean, compared to the Ashkelon Gate, to me, this is much more is better preserved because the Ashkelon Gate didn't have anything above this area here. But here you actually have the whole archway preserved. Now, we have a uh, stone uh, passageway that leads into the city gate. Actually, they've excavated through the city gate. And in, if you imagine this is wall number one, if, uh, I'll use my hand here. This is our wall that we're looking at. There's a similar wall inside the Getting gate, hot, and then there's a wall on the back side of the gate as well. So there's actually one, two, three walls. Uh, and when you get inside the city, the staircase actually goes down uh, there as well. So remember that the city is surrounded by a rampart, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. And they think that the reason that this is so well preserved is that it wasn't used very long. That for one reason or another, it had been built, but then they covered it up uh, as part uh, of, of the rampart construction. So uh, we're the beneficiaries of that. But I just review, you can see the archway right here, and then the co one course of mud brick, the second course of mud brick, and then the third course with all of the stuff on top.